just finished testing the Crownline 235SS. It's powered by the Merc Cruiser 377, which really gave us great performance. We got on plane really quickly in 2.5 seconds and to 30 miles an hour in 5.7 seconds with a top speed of 51.7 miles an hour. And I'll tell you what, this is a huge boat for its length, 23 and change. The, head, the windshield and the header are really high, so you really feel secure and you're really protected by the wind. This thing really corners well. Let's check it out. Got a really smooth ride, too. Going over some big bumps. Let's head back to the dock and check out some of the features. Nathan, this is incredibly comfortable. Tell me about these seats here. The 235 comes standard with a hot tub seating configuration. There's a three and a half inch block foam base under that seat cushion with a one and a half inch pillow top, we call it, that's very squishy and comfortable to make for a comfortable seat. Right. Optional, you'll see on this, flip up that armrest, Alan. That increases your comfort level even more. Nice. So for boating across the lake, it's extremely comfortable. How about storage up here? These two seat cushions that we're sitting on have a stainless steel shock and a hinge that opens the cushions up and stays open so you can use both hands to access the items. That's great. Let's take a look at the cockpit. This helm pretty blinged up. Tell me what's going on here. We've put a lot of thought into this, Alan, with a vinyl wrapped helm station. Standard would be a moonrock color, kind of a grayish neutral tone, but this particular boat's outboarded uh, and geared more towards the wakeboarder. So it's a black vinyl wrapped helm with cream vinyl wrapped accents and an oversized five inch gauge for the speedometer and the tack. The depth finder has an outside air and water temperature meter in it, so it tells you how cold the water is before you jump in. Of course, tilt steering and a Sony CD player are standard equipment. Now, if you're hardcore skiers, uh, what could you do to uh, improve your skiing ability in this? We offer a perfect pass cruise control system that's driven by a GPS puck instead of the old style paddle wheel. Right. So it's extremely accurate and programmable. Now, one of the most unique features of this boat to me is this uh, cockpit here. Now, how come you can build this with this much room, uh, especially down there on the sidewall there? There's a handful of models that we build with a three-part production process. And the three parts are a deck, a hull, but the third part is a glass liner system. When you use a glass liner or a third part for the floor that you actually walk on, it eliminates having a sidewall from the deck here that goes all the way to the floor of the boat. Right. And it gives you all this additional storage, about 10 inches in depth from port to starboard on each side. And it's the full length from the rear bench seat past the bucket seat underneath the helm. A great place for towels, life jackets, stuff you need quick access to. Well, it also has the effect of making this look huge. Too. Huge, yeah. It makes the boat feel another 16, 18 inches wider. That's incredible. How about this tower? Is this a, a standard or an option? This is an option. You know, earlier we talked about this boat being geared more towards the wakeboarding people. And with a black accented helm, black accents in the vinyl and the interior of the boat, that's an option and this black hinging tower. This is made by Extreme Marine Products in Maryville, Tennessee, and it does hinge forward all the way down here to the windshield header, but right. not quite, and it's kept by a cable system so it can't fall any farther forward, damaging the windshield. Right. But it makes for great storage in a low overhead garage door or just trailering down the road. Right. Alan, our swim platform here on the back is not just a platform, but it's an entertaining area. You'll notice over here on the both port and the starboard side, we have a social swim transom system with an upgraded wet sound speaker on both sides. There's an amplifier powering these two speakers that can be charged up at the end of the day with your traditional extension cord in your garage for this onboard battery charger. But this is a big deal for all consumers on the water because most people do stop at the beach, go to Party Cove and hang out and swim off the back of the boat and enjoy their music. That's great, well thanks Nathan, I appreciate you showing me around. You're welcome. For more information on the Crown Line 235SS and other great boats, go to BoatingWorld.com. I'm Alan Jones and we'll see you out on the water.